Welcome back to my channel everyone. This is Donnie and you are watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today is not a diamond painting video but um, it is interesting. It's a craft that kind of reminds me of diamond painting. Let me give you a little history. Um, I saw my friend Brandy from Abstract Crafter. Um, you can find her channel right there in the eye. She did a thing on sequin art and she did the whole thing. She went from beginning to end. She did the whole craft and finished it and everything. And when she was telling me her results, I was like, oh man, that looks like it would be too hard for my fingers to do. But I went on Amazon and I looked and I found a whole bunch of different ones that they have available. And I figured, okay, well, I'll try it and I'll see if there's something I can do to save my fingers from hurting um, on trying to do that. Or I will just spread it out, do a little bit at a time. And I actually found two different ones. I just couldn't, I couldn't decide which one to get. So the very first one I picked was this little 3D kit. It's a three-dimensional sequin art and it's a kitty cat. Let me show, yeah, that is the front. And it goes all the way around. So I imagine this one's going to take quite a bit of time. Um, let's open the box and see uh, how... Hello, I'm the man. Hello, Teslin. Um, it's sequin art. We're going to see what it looks like. Do it. Don't say it. That, I haven't shown this one yet, so don't is say that anything. For me. Well, it's sequin art, and I, I don't. Want that, I want that for you, me. You want it when I'm done. I want that for me. You want I it. Want it. You want it after I'm done making it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause see. Yeah, okay. Daddy. I'll show you later. Let me finish showing everybody else, okay? Tomorrow, could you make it? I'm gonna make it when I have the chance, okay? Wait, let me see. It's so it starts out as a styrofoam block. I styrofoam. I want to kiss it. Okay, you can kiss it, and then you gotta go. Okay. Oh, you're rubbing your cheek on it. Awesome. It's cute. Thank you. Bye, Teslin. All right. So let's just dump out everything that comes in here. Here's our pins, and here are all of our different sequins. Oh, there's some beads as well. So <clears throat> I can already see this one being a problem because of the fact that there is no guide on here to show you where to put things. And I did get new lighting for my room, so you don't see any, you do see, I don't know. It's a big one of those photo sh photo um, studio lights, but I'm not sure how well it really helps. Okay, so these are the pens. There are a lot. And from what Brandy was saying, <clears throat> she used almost every single one of them. And it got to the point where she was at the end of the project and wasn't sure if she was going to have enough. And there's a ton in here. So if that's the case on this, um, this is going to take forever to do. So we've got this like holographic sequin. It's really pretty. But she said she also had this in her kit that she did. And she said that, um, it doesn't give the effect that you think it would. It just doesn't turn out real pretty. Um, it kind of looked muddy in the areas. And I can see here, it looks like it's going to be on the top of the head. So, well, and, and around the body, it looks like here. And, and you can see the different spots where that one's going to be. And this is the main color. And it's got an AB coating on it as well. That's really pretty. And then we've got a pink. And a purple. And then we have the black. And these center pieces here are 
something that I'm imagining are going to be a bit of a mess. On top of those sequins, there are three different beads. There's a pink, an orange, and a green. And I imagine... Well, okay, it looks like the green, uh, that's part of part of the eye and the heart on the charm and on the, the collar. The ear, no, the ear looks like it's a sequin. But yeah, it looks like basically that stuff is for the face. Even the nose looks like it looks like it's beads as well. All right, let's look at these instructions. This looks like it's something for advertising the different things that they have. Um, this looks like they do have diamond art because this is sequined art diamond art. So they may actually have diamond paintings as well. This company is called Geospace. They had on Amazon the teddy bear and the elephant and the owl as well. I chose the cat because, you know, we are cat people. I think they had the boot, the shoe as well, but, and then they have sequin art spectrum. And these are the ones that Brandy did. She did one of these, uh, gorgeous girls, but this is making it look like it's something kids could do, but I don't know that a kid would have the patience to do this, at least not my six year old. Uh, they do have quite a bit. So I might look into some of their um, other, see if I can find this, the diamond art. Uh, diamond series makes a beautiful shimmering picture using sparkling gems. Yes, sparkling gems. Simply peel back the protect. Yep, that sounds like a diamond painting. Okay, so that's that. Now let's get into the instructions here. Um, so it gives you the different colors and they have them numbered at the top and this is your layout. So this is basically all, all you have. I don't know if you'd want to cut it out. I, yeah, this is just something. So the only instructions is right here. The rest is in a different language. It does say you sequin cup side up. And that was something Brandy was talking about too, because it is kind of hard to determine, I guess, which side is the cup side up. So it means they have, these sequins are, are like bowl shaped. So you can kind of see from the side. Yeah. And so you don't want that you want the bowl to be upwards so that the curved pieces go up. That's what I'm understanding. I mean, this picture here, okay, all this is showing you is to do them side by side, not to overlap them. All right, and the instructions only say to find a flat place and have beside you this color guide and the box with color photographs. So you're going to want to keep the box. Look carefully at these to see the shapes and colors of your model. Then spread out the materials using the drawing below as a guide. Score pencil lines onto your polystyrene model to separate the different areas of color. Choose an area of color and begin covering your model by pushing a pin firmly through the hole in the sequin or bead. If you make a mistake, it is easy to correct. Just pull out the pin and change or move the sequin or bead. When you come to a pin narrow polystyrene part of your model, you will need to angle the pins very carefully to prevent the end of the pin appearing through the other side of the polystyrene. Warning, not suitable for children under 36 months due to small parts and functional sharp point pins, choking and puncture hazards. Yeah, I'm not sure I'll enjoy this. I mean, the outcome looks cool. Um, it, you know, uh, these aren't labeled. So I'm guessing this is 10, but they're not saying where 10 goes. 
and I guess you just have to kind of look at the pictures because I think the nose is this. So that would be the light pink, which would be nine. And if I, I think they could do better in the instructions department. The one that Brandy had seemed to be a little bit more detailed. Okay, so if I ever get this done or do this, I will post a video showing how it went or showing my process of doing it. We'll see. I bought it because I thought I'd try it. Now, what I paid for this kit here, I went off screen to check the price. I came back, I resumed my video, and I forgot to hit the record button. So I completely finished my video and I didn't record it. So I will try to remember everything that I had said and do this again. So what I paid for the 3D cat was $14.99. The listing does have everything else that was in this picture here, except for the pug and the pug, but the pug is in a separate listing and the pug is $16.99. The tiger and the teddy bear are $15.99, but um, these other four are $14.99. And that's one of the reasons why I chose the cat, because I wanted the one that was the least expensive in case I didn't like it. So if I ever do that, I will update you and I will show you how it's going or whatnot when it's done. The other thing I purchased, and it's from the same company, is one of these flat ones. That, and it's made by the same company. The difference is um, price for one thing. This was $21.99 and this comes in a nice box. Um, I, it did have a plastic wrap around it, but I pulled it off when I did the first video. This has actually a close up of how you place them on the picture here. Yeah. So much for this new setup, reducing glare. I thought that's what it would do, but. And it does show that it comes with a detailed sheet. And it has a velvet, that's what they call it, a velvet base. All right, so here's all the colors. I'll go over them again. Um, here's your bag of pins. It looks to be about the same size as the one from the cat. And this one actually has a detailed schematic. So you know exactly where each color should go. And it's outlined with the dots on the velvet backing. Now it's, it doesn't fit in this section perfectly straight. So I'm gonna probably want to get it as straight as possible. It did come with a damaged edge here on the styrofoam which I'm guessing that shouldn't be like that. And it comes in this nice box to store it in in between when you are not wanting to continue for the day or whatnot. And the instructions are the same exact instructions from the cat, um, but this one does have the numbers, again, with the color name. And here is our key right here. So number one is going to be the dark blue, which is, these are really pretty. I have to admit that. And then the number two is the, what they call it? Aqua blue. And this has a lot of those centerpieces all over the place. Those are going to be so fun. I'm going to get everywhere. And number three is the silver yeah, they call it silver. There's a lot of those. So that's just regular silver. And number four is pale gold right there. Number five or number nine is pale pink, which is this right here. There aren't a lot of that color. And then we've got purple is number 10. So there's that. 
and 11 is gold, and number 13 is pearl. So this is the pearl. And it's got that AB shine to it. So these do overlap. This doesn't have, this doesn't say on here not to overlap like it did on the cat, but it does show you cup side up, but this doesn't exactly show you what the cup side looks like. It, this looks flat to me. So, I mean, it's great that they have it in four different languages, but if they would be a little bit, elaborate a little bit more as to their instructions, even if they had like pictures, little pictures, maybe, I mean, yeah, it shows on here on the, the cover, but still it's not really clear as to which side the cup is. I mean, I'm guessing, yeah, by looking at the pieces that are placed down here on the picture, the part that is curved upward is going to be the cup that needs to go up. And that's where you're going to get your shine because you're not going to get the shine if you have the cup side down because I guess the bottom isn't as shiny. So I think this one won't take as long, even though I'm sure it'll take some time because of it being basically straight lines going up and it's the colors aren't mixed too bad. So basically it's got color blocking. And, and then we've got just the singles out here. And, and you, as you can see, there's some are overlapped. So I will do as the instructions show and put like the pink um, as the bottom and then the blue and then the silver because that looks like the way that they have it set up. And on this one, it'll be blue and then silver, silver. And if I, if I get the chance, you know, I'll probably do a little bit each day or not even every day. Once in a while, I'll do maybe half hour or however long until my fingers stop you know, start hurting. But, um, I was thinking that maybe I could try something like using tweezers. Um, these are the flattened tweezers I'm talking about for placing the, the pins in. And these I got from diamond painting with sparklers. And these, this is the second set she sent me. The first set was the black ones. And these have more resistance than these. These are easier to squeeze. Um, you can see they're a little closer together too. So I will link her group down below. She's, she sells through her, uh, Facebook group, um, diamond painting with sparklers. And that is how you go about purchasing her items. I believe the tweezers are like $3, but I love this pair right here because it's so much easier for me to squeeze. It's not as far to squeeze and it's less resistant. So I don't have to put as much effort into these. So then I could probably save my thumbs from being in pain and picking things up. I mean, I could probably pick up, I'll probably just do a little sample tutorial in a different video or maybe at the end of this one, I'm thinking I might go ahead and start at least and give this a shot and then update you later on as I continue working on it. So I am going to go ahead and stop the video here and then I will come back after I get it set up a little bit as to how I want to do it. And I'll see you then. Okay. I have everything put together. Um, I put all my sequins in these containers. I put the number and the color on them. These are just some containers I have in my shop that have been in there for months. Nobody seems to like this kind. So I just thought I would use them for the sequins. And I put all the pins in the top layer here with one extra. I have my schematic. I'm just propping it up in front of me. And then I have the box for reference as well that I'm going to prop up here. So what the instructions didn't say, but, um, I'm going with Brandy's lead and I'm going to 
place a couple of pins in the corner to hold this steady and these are very very tiny look at how small these are and I'm going to try with the tweezers just to see if it's going to work no it won't you can't get it to push in because you need the pressure on the top maybe I can just use them for gripping and then press them in well see that's not even straight so okay then I'll grab another one it in this corner all right so I guess if I start at the bottom this is already starting to gather little hairs I'm not sure if I like the velvet backing um, where to start how about we just start in the middle this would be the thin because it looks like nothing goes on top of these. So this would be my aqua blue. Oh, gotta be careful. Don't want to drop all my pins. Okay. So I'll pull out a sequin. And as you can see, cup side up. You can see the difference in the contour of the sequin. Uh, the parts that are going upward, that's the part we're going to want to go up. So, got the pin placed inside and we start with this right here. got one placed <laughs> because this one's a different color this one's silver but I'm gonna do just this row of blue and I'll meet you back as soon as this row is done <laughs> So I've got this first string of his, the arm, well, the fin, the flipper right here, done. And surprisingly, I'm actually having fun. Um, it's different from diamond painting, of course, but it's oddly satisfying when you place one in and it gives such cool color. Um, I like this. It didn't, I didn't hurt, my thumbs aren't hurting badly. Um, it does help transferring with the tweezers, at least. You know, I can pick the sequins up and, you know, um, as you could probably see, even though I was fast forwarding, you know, I just transfer it on there and grab a hold of it and I'm able to place it exactly in the spot that it should go right in the center and it makes it easy and I just push it down with my finger so I like it I, I really do anyway so that is how simple this is I will update you in a new video when this is completed um yeah I, I'm super surprised at how much I'm liking this craft I mean it 
it's it doesn't replace diamond painting whatsoever but it's interesting to do and I think it'll make a nice addition to something to put in my bathroom because I do my bathroom theme in dolphin so I hope you like this video let me know down below if you have done any kind of sequin art before and what you thought of it or if you have never seen it before is this something you might try um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. I'd be really interested to find out who else has done this or seen this before and what you think of it. I've just recently heard about it and I think it's pretty cool. So don't forget to hit that thumbs up on your way down and subscribe if you haven't. And then hit that notification bell to be notified when I put up new videos or go live. I look forward to seeing you guys and talking to you in my next video. Have fun diamond painting, have fun sequin arting, and don't forget to sparkle wherever you go or whatever you do. Take care, everyone. Bye.